Watch you guys got another video. Microsoft offer free extended Windows 10 security updates, but there is a catch, but we'll go for it in this video. If you're on Windows 10 and your PC is not supported for Windows 11 due to the strict Windows 11 uh, hardware requirements set by Microsoft, you may start seeing this message right here on the screen where it says Windows 10 support ends in October 2025 enroll in the extended security updates to keep your device secure that is what they're offering and it says enroll now right there so when you click on that what it's going to do is going to take you over to the enrollment page where you can enroll uh, for the extended security updates for one more year which is going to take you into 2026 now, when Microsoft announced this sometime last year, individuals who wanted to pay an extra $30 for an additional year of updates and security updates will be able to continue to use their Windows 10 system due to the fact that Microsoft will be giving them continuous support for one more year if they pay $30. Now, Microsoft have sugarcoated the deal, which means they are now offering this update for one year for free if you do certain types of criteria which Microsoft have stipulated on their website. And we'll go through that after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the link in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all the purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they will send you your key and you can go ahead and then activate your version of Windows. So let's go through all of this in more detail. So on the Microsoft Experience blog, they posted an article about the enrollment to extended security updates to stay protected. So you will see this box once you click on the enrollment uh, page, which I showed you earlier. This will then open up this page and you can then choose to go next and it will then go through the motions and let you choose what you wish to do. Now, once you enroll into the ESU program, Windows will support your PC up until October 13th, 2026. Now, to get the ESU program for free, Microsoft have broke it down into a pretty simple way. So let's take a look for individuals, which is us. As an enrollment wizard, will be available through the notifications in the settings, making it easy to enroll to the ESU. That is the page that I showed you earlier. When you click enroll, you will see that other little box pop up and then you can go through the motions and sign up. And it is 100% free as long as you follow this criteria. Use Windows Backup to sync your settings to the cloud at no additional cost to you. That means once you configure your Windows backup and sync it to the cloud, then you will get the one year extended for free. The other option is to redeem 1000 Microsoft reward points at no additional cost to you. You will then get the Windows ESU program for free. You won't have to pay $30 or you can just pay out the $30 and get a extended one year support from Microsoft. So what are the first two options? What does that mean to you if you want to get it for free? Well, if you want to get it for free, it means exactly what you probably think it means. It means that you won't be getting any of this for free. You will have to require to have a Microsoft account. So you're going to have to sign into a Microsoft account and sync your PC to them and they will then offer you uh, that option for free. So you cannot use the Windows Backup or the Microsoft Rewards methods without having a Microsoft account. This is something Microsoft have been pushing for since the beginning. Now, there's no doubt that having a Microsoft account does make your system more secure, but on the flip side, it also means that you're giving up quite a bit of information, and that's something that people don't want to do now also having the windows backup options signed up and set up it just means the migration to windows 11 will be a lot easier as i mentioned in a video previously about the uh, transferring of information over to windows 11 will be a lot easier 
But again, you will need that Microsoft account to use that option. Now, if you're one of these people that already have a Microsoft account and you've been using it for quite some time and you don't want to use the Windows Backup, well, you may have already uh, had about 1,000 Microsoft Reward Points in your account ready to use. And if you have, then you can enroll into the ESU program for free by using those points up. So depending on your situation, if you do have also a Microsoft account and you do use Windows Backup, then you're pretty much good to go. Just click on Enroll and it's completely free. You won't have to pay $30. For all those people that don't have a Microsoft account and have a local account and want to continue to use Windows uh, 10 for another year or for longer, you will need to obviously either pay the $30 or sign into Microsoft account and set up that Windows Backup and you will then get it for free if $30 means that much to you. It's all a bit of a carrot on the end of a stick. They're trying to get you to, you know, sign up for a Microsoft account. They really do want as many people on Microsoft accounts as possible. And if you're on Windows 11, they are trying to force you away from local accounts and get you to sign into a Microsoft account on Windows 11. Again, it's entirely up to you what you do. But there is your options. So that was the latest statement from Microsoft. And I'll leave the link for this article in the video description. The article is really still geared up to uh, trying to get you to get a Windows 11 PC or transition over to Windows 11. But again, that little snippet was added in by Microsoft just recently. So Windows 10 is really no different to any other previous operating system that Microsoft have released. It has a 10 year life cycle, they extend for a while and then they pull the plug. Windows 10 is already got one foot in the grave. It's not going to last long. You now got an extension for one year and that's it. I don't think they're going to extend for home users any longer than one year. I think that will be it. And that will be the end of Windows 10, like the end of Windows 8, 8.1, uh, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP and so on. So use this a year to uh, plan and maybe uh, save some money for a new computer or maybe install Linux on that old system and keep that old computer going if you want to. Or maybe uh, use Zero Patch or something like that if you need to keep that old computer going and you need a Windows uh, base system. There's not many other options available. Uh, yes, there's people talking about LTSC and stuff like that, but really they're going to start running into problems very, very soon. In about a year or two, they'll start running into issues with software, uh, you know, incompatibilities. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.